Namaste. Thank you for watching M's Yoga and Massage. So let's start. You can stay on your knees if it's not possible to kneel, you can sit up. Thumbs in, hands around. Let's make 10 circles to the left. So just moving from the wrists and the opposite direction, keep the arms nice and still. Now open the fingers and then point them down. Open, point. If you're comfortable having a sit on your knees, sit on your knees, stretching up the thighs. Circles, elbows up by the ears and round. And the other direction, squeeze the shoulders together and then bring the elbows around. Keep everything nice and relaxed, just warming up the joints. Well done. Now bring your shoulders directly above your wrists and your knees under your hips. You're going to keep everything nice and strong, so strong arms pushing the hands down into the earth. Draw your belly button up towards your spine. And then we're just going to move through the pelvis. So rocking the pelvis, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, tipping the tailbone up, breathing out, drawing it in. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to move through the shoulder. So everything stay strong. Lock your arms, fingertips pushing down, belly button drawing in. We're going to push up into the shoulder blades and then we're going to allow the shoulders to slide down. Keep going for 10. So pushing up, separating the shoulders and then sliding down, but keeping the arms locked. Last two. Now coming back to centre, just move through the neck, chin to chest, then looking up, stretching the throat, stretching the back of the neck. And sit yourself back into child's pose. Big toes together, separate your knees. And sit yourself back into child's pose. Stay here and breathe. Nice deep belly breath. Breathing in fully, breathing out fully. And now coming back up. Shoulders over wrists, and again, any wrist issues, you can always come onto your fists. <clears throat> We're going to squeeze the glutes, so point your toes, bend the knees, so your left leg is up. Try not to shift the weight to the right hand, balance between left and right hand. Squeeze your glute, now pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, squeeze belly button in, 4, and release, changing sides. Bend the knee, point your toes, lock your arms, make sure the balance is equal between left and right hand. Let's go. 10. 3, 2, 1. Sit yourself back in the child's pose. Coming back up, we're going to take the left toes up to the sky again, bend the knee, breathe in, look up as you breathe out, round your nose towards your knee. So inhale, look up, exhale, round. Eight, seven, six, breathe in, breathe out. Three, and now on the last one, we're going to hold the leg with the opposite hand. So left leg, right arm. If it's not possible, just stay with the hand on the floor and the leg in the air. So 
and release. Sit yourself back into child's pose just for a moment, stretch off the back. Coming back up, so this time right leg up, lock your arms, engage your core, inhale, look up, exhale, round for 10. Halfway, five, last three, two, one, right leg stays up, so if it's not possible, try sitting back, grab a hold of where the shoelaces would be, right arm stays locked, now lift your heel and your knee away from your buttocks. Stretch the left arm back as far as you can and smile. And sit yourself back into child's pose, well done. Now we're coming again onto all fours. This time we're going to bend the left arm, elbow bent, and then extend the right arm straight out in front of you. Knees over hips, or under hips rather, and then pop your head onto your forearm. And breathe. Allow your right armpit, your right chest to surrender to the earth. Working on the heart meridian. Release emotions, heaviness around the heart. Breathe into the space. Opening up the shoulders, the chest. Coming back up. This time the right arm folds in. Bend the elbow. And then extend the left arm, keep the hips over knees and surrender your heart to Mother Earth and breathe. And gently coming up. Now we're going to keep the knees under the hips. We're going to walk the elbows together, make namaste. Take the elbows by the side of your ears and then bring your hands in between your shoulder blades and draw your body back. So keep drawing the head back away from the arms. Nice deep belly breaths, opening up the chest, the mid and the upper back. Great for tight shoulders, for arm pain. Now release. We're coming in to puppy dog. So walk the hands as far out as you can and then surrender the heart, the head or the chin to the earth. Now if this is too strong you can stay up, bring the head to the floor, you can even bend the elbows and take the arms wide. So never force, never strain. If it doesn't feel right stop and modify. If it feels okay, stretch the arms, bring your chin and your chest to the floor. Well done. Let's come up. Sit yourself back into child's pose. Sit your heels, the bottom onto your heels. Keep the weight back. And then extend the spine, the chest, the heart forwards. Relax your head and breathe.
coming back up. So again, sitting on your knees. If sitting on your knees isn't possible, you can sit on a block. Or just sit cross leg, be comfortable. You can even sit on a chair. So we're going to take the left arm up to the sky and we're going to take the right hand behind your back. So if you need support, grab a hold of that arm and encourage it up in between your shoulder blades. Left arm up, palm faces in, and then you reach down. If elbow is coming up, try to roll your bicep in and the left elbow up to the sky. If it's not possible, have a strap or something in your hand, a sock, a hoodie, anything, dangle it down and then walk your hands to meet. Now try not to flare out your rib cage. Try not to lift the head up or dangle down. Eyes look forward, tuck your chin in, draw your rib cage in and breathe. Wonderful for opening up the shoulders, the chest. So when the hands are locked like this, we're making the infinity sign. So there's an infinite, infinite flow of prana, of energy. And release, well done. So same again, left arm goes all the way up. Draw it up, the hand in between the shoulder blades. Right arm lifts and then gently supporting or holding the hand or holding your strap. Try to roll the elbow in, bicep in, elbow up to the sky, and draw your ribcage in. Engage your core. release well done so now we're going to sit back into child's pose so when the arms are in the air please do not open the hands if you need to come down come down and then separate the hands so we're going to lock the hands behind the back heels of the hands together we're going to lift them to the top of the head and then stretch the arms up to the sky squeeze your shoulder blades knees under hips and stay And release. Now we're going to change the crossover with the little finger. So if the right little finger is on the outside, make the left little finger on the outside. This posture is wonderful for arm pain, for shoulder pain, great for tendonitis of biceps and triceps. Take the head to the floor. Come up onto the crown of the head, knees and the hips. And then stretch your arm. Squeeze your shoulder blades and breathe. <laughs> and release sit yourself back separate the hands relax And gently lifting up. Now we're going to bring the knees apart and the feet together. We're coming into butterfly, lift the spine and then open the knees towards the floor. Keep the spine lifted, stretch your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together and lift your heart to, up to the sky. Straighten your left leg to keep the right knee bent. If you need support under the bent knee, place a cushion under the knee. If you need a strap, grab your strap or something to wrap around your foot. Lift the arms up, inhale, exhale, come forwards. Inhale, reach. As you breathe out, draw belly button in, stretch the spine a little further, a little longer. Inhale, lift. Exhale, three, two more, last one and we're going to stay down, <coughs> excuse me, so I'm going to support, you can either hook on 
to your foot, you can hold your thigh or even stay to the floor. Keep your spine nice and long. If you're able to start to come forward and stretch the spine forward, then you can come down. Close your eyes, breathe. And gently lifting up, bring the soles of the feet together, lift up the spine, and, gently. and then straighten your right leg. So left knee bent this time, right leg straight. Come on, take your feet. Shanti wants to do yoga too. Left leg bent, right leg straight. Arms lift, inhale, as you exhale, reach, lengthen out through the spine to the back body. Inhale, lift up the spine, exhale, lengthen. Three more. Last two. Last one, and hold. Grab your strap, try to relax your shoulders, relax your face. Wonderful posture for opening up the hip joints, for creating space in the hips, better range of motion. Great for the legs, back of the legs, the back, to lengthen out the muscles. Very good for stimulating the internal organs, good for digestion, for calming the mind. Close your eyes, allow your body to become soft, breathing out all that no longer serves you. Inhale, lifting up. Well done. Now we're going to come onto our knees. Bring the right knee in front of your left knee and then sit yourself back in between your feet. So you've got the right knee stacked directly on top of the left and then your feet are close to your hips but not sitting on them. So if you feel that like you're sitting on your foot and you can't get square with both buttocks on the ground then pop a little block under yourself or a cushion just to lift the hips to create that nice square feeling through the hips. So maybe this is enough for you, maybe you want to stay lifting. You can just hold their feet, close your eyes and breathe. If you're feeling it strong, then stay, don't force. So breathe in, feel the prana. As you breathe in, crown rises towards the ceiling. As you breathe out, soften your face, your shoulders, relaxing your body. Now, if you would like to go a little further, Breathe in, as you breathe out, start to walk your hands forward. If you have a yoga block or something to support yourself, you can use the block and then just relax your body. Otherwise, hands to the floor or you can take your chin all the way down. So do whatever works for you today. Breathing in fully, breathing out. Relax your legs, your back, your hips. Relax your face. Relax your breath. Inhale, lifting up. Keep the legs where they are. We're going to take the right hand down. Get your left hand onto the head and open up. So we're not coming forward. Try to open the left side of the chest. Reach up, lengthen to that left side. Left hip drawing down. Left elbow up to the sky. You can look forwards 
or you can glance to the sky as long as it's not hurting your neck. Breathe. Inhale, lifting up, same as leg, take the left hand down, right hand up, and the same again, breathe. Relax the legs. gently coming up. Separate the feet, take the feet a little wider and then drop the knees side to side. Windscreen wipering the knees, releasing any tension in the hips, thighs. <coughs> Excuse me. And now coming back to the other side. So left knee in front of the right, sit yourself back, separate the feet, try to stack the knees, one on top of the other, bearing in mind one may be tighter than the other, which is always my tighter side. So if this is enough, stay. So just take a few moments here to settle, just to allow the legs to relax, just to feel what's going on, We're giving time to feel, to listen. In the stillness within, only then can we listen to what the body's whispering to us. So you can stay here or you can start to move forward. Again, if you have a block or something to hand, you can rest on your block. You can use the hands for support. And just relax yourself down. Gently lifting up, bring your left hand to the floor, right hand up, open up the chest, right hip down, right elbow up and relax the legs, breathe. Breathing in, feeling, accepting, breathing out, smiling, releasing. Inhale, lifting up, changing sides, right hand down, left arm up, open the chest, lengthen to the spine, to the back body.
and keep it in a well then separate your feet nice and wide take the hands behind your back and windscreen wiper your knees Coming up onto your knees, if you need extra padding, you can roll your mat as many times as you need to support for your knees. <coughs> so we're coming into Ustrasana, camel pose. Bring your knees directly under your hips. You can tuck your toes up to start with, or actually take them down for a moment. Bring the hands onto your waist, squeeze your elbows together, squeeze your glutes, engage your inner thighs, Push your hips forwards and open the chest. So look up, bring the chest, the heart up to the sky rather than trying to bend from your lower back. Lift everything up as though I'm trying to lift your ribcage up to the sky. Squeeze your shoulder blades, lift the heart. Sit yourself back down. Take the hands behind your back, lock, open your elbows, look to the sky. Exhale, rounding elbows together, chin to chest. Five. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Don't hang heavy on the neck. Let the body do the work. And then coming back up. This time, tuck your toes under. Again, engaging your thighs, engaging your glutes, engaging your core. Take the left hand to the left heel, right hand. If this isn't possible, then stay with the first option. Hands on the waist. Now open your chest. Inhale, lifting up into child's pose. Breathe, relax. Lifting up, so again, you can stay with option one, option two, or you can keep the feet flat if the back allows, and see if you can now touch the heels and then open the chest. Inhale, lifting up, sit yourself back down into child's pose, separate the knees, big toes together, the weight of the hips back onto the heels and lengthen the spine forward, relax. Child's pose soothes, soothes the nervous system by helping us to relax, to stay relaxed, calm. Reducing anger, aiding digestion, therapy for the back, stretching out the thighs, lengthening this back, the muscles of the back. And gently lifting up. We're going to cross the legs, so bring your right foot in front of the left. So sitting in a cross leg position. And now take the heels slightly away from your groin. So you're not sitting on the heel. Roll the thighs out from the calves forwards. So your calves are crossing at sort of the heel is at mid calf roughly. Now, if it's enough for you, stay here. If it's not possible, then do this in butterfly. So your options are soles of the feet together if you can't cross 
the legs because of any knee pain. We're going to push the hips back but keep the spine lengthening. Walk. Maybe this is enough for you today. If you have blocks of support, you want to use your block support in any which way that you can. If you would like to start to come forward onto your forearms or all the way down to the floor. Do whatever suits you. And if you're not feeling any stretch, if you're very open in the hips, come into box. So bring your right heel on the outer corner of the left inner knee and then the other heel under. So you're in a box shape and then folding forwards. So do whatever works best for you. So getting that nice stretch. Inhale, lifting up, well done. Change the crossover now. So we have left leg in front of right or left foot up on top. So do whatever works best for you. Make sure there's a slight gap between your heel and your pubic bone. And then coming forwards or maybe staying up. So wherever you are today is perfectly fine using your support. Just do what feels good. Do it with love, do it with kindness, do it with a smile. So it's about changing our thought process, doing everything with willingness. Even the jobs that we dislike, the chores that we dislike, if we practice with willingness, then it becomes easier. It becomes more enjoyable, more doable. Less stress in the mind, less stress in the body. So close your eyes and breathe. Gently lifting up. Take the legs apart and give everything a little shake. Roll yourself down onto your mat. Engage your core, roll down, draw your knees into your chest. Move, move through the ankles. And then bring the knees to the left and look to the right. Make sure both shoulder blades are pushing down into the earth equally. Breathe, relax. Inhale to centre, exhale over the other way. So draw your right shoulder down into the earth as the knees go to the left side. Inhale to centre, it's Shavasana time, relaxation, so if the back feels tight, just rock the pelvis forwards and back, making movements, squeezing the buttocks, releasing, have a little wriggle, and then take the feet apart and drop the knees to rest, so you can stay in Shavasana in this posture for support for your lower back. Palms up to the ceiling, always ready to open, open to receive energy. If the back allows, you 
can straighten your legs <clears throat> and find stillness. Adjusting your posture if you need to. Moving from the body to the different bodily parts, scanning for any tension. Checking in with your toes. How soft can you make your toes become? How soft can your feet become? How much tension can you release from your lower legs, your knees, your upper legs? As you breathe out, keep softening. If you feel you're holding tension in the area, give it a shake, contract, squeeze the muscles tight and then release. How soft can the muscles of your buttocks, your whole pelvis become? Softening, releasing. Relax your abdomen. Breathe into this space. If you're not sure if you're breathing into your abdomen, bring your hands onto your abdomen. Inhale as the abdomen expands into the sides, to the back. Exhale, contracting. Taking that breath all the way up into the rib cage. Feel the lungs, the ribs, the chest expand. All the way up into the collarbones. And coming back to the hands, keep softening the arms to the shoulders keep softening soften release your lower back with every out breath how much can you release how much can you let go of keep softening relax the middle of your back your upper back your whole back softening Relax your neck, your face, your scalp. And in your mind, silently repeat, my whole body is softening. My whole body is softening. My whole body is softening. Stay here a little longer if you wish, or you can start to move the fingers, the toes. Have a full body stretch, a big yawn. Act like you're waking for the very first time today, with love in your heart, with peace in your mind. Bend the knees, engage your core, draw your knees into your chest. You can rock side to side. Make circles, just waking up the back. And then drop to your left side with both hands pushing yourself back to a comfortable seated posture. Bringing the hands to the heart center. You end with Om Shanti. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Love and light to you all. Namaste. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening.